Hi, my name's Gav. If you're new here, let me tell you that I'm someone that loves life. I like spending quality time with friends and family. I'm also someone that loves traveling. I love visiting new places and trying new things. I have two hobbies. I love singing and I love skating. I've been skating ever since I was a little boy. And fun fact, I actually do it now professionally. Yes, I'm a professional figure skater. This is what this channel's all about. Tag along as I bring you on board a cruise ship in my crazy life as a professional figure skater. Good morning, guys. So uh, I got my hair done yesterday, as you can see. Uh, and today we are in Skagen, Denmark, which is the most uh, northern city of Denmark. And, uh, well, I'll be getting off. The port authorities just cleared, um, gave us the go to get off. So I'll be getting off this morning. I think I'm going to go walk around, uh, take a little stroll in the city. I do have uh, a couple YouTube videos I have to upload. So I'll probably go to a coffee shop, upload those. And then I want to go visit. There's a place I researched it on Google where it's at the tip. Because we're at the tip of Denmark. And it's where the I, either Atlantic Ocean meets... Baltic Ocean or Nordic, Nordic Sea meets, meets Baltic Sea. Anyways, two seas meet together. So I want to go visit that. It's a nice open beach. And sometimes they have... Um, what do they have? What are those called? Bar, bar, bar. <laughs> what are those called again? I don't remember. Anyways, you'll see them if ever I see them. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about. Like, not sharks, but... What are those called? In French, it's my brain. My brain's thinking in French right now. In French, we would say it's a bad word in English, but it's called fuck. That's the, that's the French word for, um, for, where's the English word? Sea lion, right? Sea lion. That's it. I think it is. Okay, well, anyways, let's get the day started. So we're in Skagen, Denmark, just got off the ship. It's about, uh, I would say, 8.45. I don't, I have the time, anyways. It's about 8.45. I'm gonna walk to the downtown area, which I don't know how to get there. I, must, I do have a map, my bag, so I'll get the map out. And, I, and then I wanna see that tip, uh, point where the two oceans meet. I talked to the guy and it's about four kilometers away. So it's either you take a long stroll to the tip or you bring, um, or you can go by bike, which I could also do, uh, go by bike, but I'm a little nervous because once you get to the tip, so it takes an hour to walk there. Once you get to the tip, you have another walk for 20 minutes to on the beach to get to like the proper tip because the road stops. And I'm kind of nervous to just leave my bike there. So maybe I'll just walk it. So I'll walk around the downtown area this morning and then I'll just walk there and come back. It's an hour walk, it's not too bad. So let's go. <laughs> Flies are floating like your red hair in the breeze Spring awakening, new love takes me into lilac dreams Lay beside me Okay, guys, I'm a little lost. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where... I don't know what I'm doing this morning. Old Skagen. Vest. I have to find the street that says Vest Stradve. Stradve. Vest Stradve. And this street is. What is this street? I think I have to go up. I think I have to go this way. Okay, let's try going this way. 
That you are someone I rely on You make me feel real Summer days that drift away as we Guys, there's a robot. Oh no, it's freaking out. It hit the sidewalk and now it's 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 coming towards me. I think what is that? Oh no, it just hit the pole. Oh, it's rotating. <laughs> what is that? Ah, uh, it's a lawnmower. <laughs> it's a lawnmower, guys. Oh my god. I need that at home. Oh, they have two. Two lawnmowers. Little buddy there mowing the lawn. Oh, just hit the tree. Back it up, back it up, rotate, yep, yeah, and leave. <laughs> wow. So they buy electric robot lawn mowers so that they don't have to do the lawn. This city feels quite empty. There's not many people on the streets. It's very quiet. Maybe it's just because it's a small city and once the, I think once this afternoon hits, that's when all the tourists from um, the ship will come out and we'll probably get more people on the streets, but right now it's very quiet. It's cute, it's, it's a nice little town, just quiet. Oh my God, guys, it is so quiet in the streets. Like, I, if I would live here, I would hate it. I like, I'm a city, I'm a city man. I also love nature, like I love to get away from the city, but this is too quiet for me. There's like, oh, one tractor going down the street. It's so weird. The city feels like no one lives in it. It feels like all these houses are empty. But it, like I look inside and they're, they're not. Like every, it's beautiful inside. Everyone lives in these, but it's so weird. It feels like a ghost town a little bit. Okay, I just stopped at this little grocery store because I wanted some croissant. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I got a croissant and banana. I don't even know how much it costs because, again, who knows what currency it is here. Train tracks. Oh, and there's a bigger grocery store over there. It seems like a really small town. It reminds, like, very small, like maybe 3,000 people here. So what's behind me right here is an old water tower. They used to store water up there for the city back in the day. And now it's a landmark. So this white lighthouse in the back of me was built in 1747 and is it is the oldest lighthouse here in Denmark. The lighthouse originally was not white, it was made out of red brick, but in the early 1800s that's when it was in style to paint the houses white and the lime wash, so that's where the white comes from. This lighthouse isn't in use anymore. Um, there are three other lighthouses down this road, so we'll probably see all three other ones. Uh, but they just protect it because it's part of the landmark.
I have no clue what that is. There's no description. So if you guys know what it is, please let me know in the comments because it looks like an old, you know what it looks like when they pump out the oil, you know? I don't know what it is. So you must be wondering, Gab, you're, why are you always alone? And the reason is, is because I'm selfish. <laughs> No, that isn't the real reason. I actually love spending quality time with myself. I'm a very big alone person. I like to do, do things by myself because I don't want to wait for anyone. I don't want to do what other people want to do. I want to do what I want to do. So I just found that doing things alone is much easier and I feel much happier doing them alone so that I can do what I want. Not to bother anyone. I hate like being like, oh, can we go there even though you don't want to go? I don't know if you understand what I mean. So that's why I'm always alone. I love, I love being alone. Like at home, I would go camping alone. You see, I'm that weird person. Anyways, I think I'm, I'm going off on the subject because I have a long walk ahead of me, an hour walk. We can do it. up what what are the two seas that cross here because it's like I think it's the Atlantic Sea and the Baltic Sea but I also know that when we were in Norway it was the North Sea and by the way it's not Atlantic Sea it's Atlantic Ocean <sighs> I'll look it up on Google I have some service here so I'll go check that out and I'll let you guys know once I get to the beach. We're almost there, guys. I'm about 30 minutes. I've been walking for 30 minutes, but I think when the guy said an hour away from the port, he meant you have to walk an hour in this, uh, uh, 30 minutes in the city, which I did, and then 30 minutes on the outside of the city. As you can tell, I am not in the city anymore. So I think, I think this is it. I think that point there is where I'm heading, where I'm supposed to be. We have arrived. I'm a little mad because I could have totally brought my bike here and just locked it up. There's like a thousand other bikes. It's okay, I'll walk back. I just gotta enjoy the walk, right? It's not the destination. What is that saying? It's not the destination, but it's like the climb. It's the, it's the path to the destination. You have to enjoy both. So that's what I'm doing right now. They have these little information guides everywhere you go. And right up there is a bunker from World War II. And uh, so when you're on top of the bunker, you can see the tip of Grenin. And that's where the two seas meet. And swimming is prohibited because apparently due to the seas colliding, that makes a really, really strong current. And therefore it, w it could be life threatening they say so you can soak your feet but you can't go swimming anyways it's a little cold for swimming so I will and I don't have my bathing suit so I don't think I would have gone swimming so the bunker that we're gonna go and check out is actually from World War II and was built by the Germans because this place was uh, invaded by the Germans very early in the war so let's go check that out World War II the city was bombed by the English and um, so when the ships would come in to come and attack they decided to 
shut off all the lighthouses so that they weren't able to come in to that sea and attack Copenhagen, which is their capital. And they have a really big reef that goes into the sea. And apparently ships struggle with that reef because when there are storms or when the current moves, it moves with it. So that's why it's hard for ships to get into that, uh, the Baltic Sea. So when they shut off all the lighthouses, the ships were stuck in the reef and so on, which is pretty interesting. It is so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of Cape Cod. <laughs> you know that tip of Cape Cod? It kind of reminds me of that. Back to I'm just walking down the shore and there's like a million starfish all along the shoreline. I think once they're out of the water though, they die, which is kind of sad, but I guess that's the circle of life, right? New ones will be born and then the older ones will die. I think it's low tide right now as well. That might be why. Poor little starfish. There are like millions. I don't see now with this bus full of tourists just came. Ah, get away. I hate tourists, even though I'm one of them. I haven't seen any sea lions. I would love to see sea lions. My wish got granted. I saw a sea lion. But it's dead. Why? Why do that to me? It's dead. Oh no. I'm going to be sad now. Oh, that wasn't the one you wanted no. to see. No. Isn't that uh, sad? It must have got washed up and those by us. got stuck and didn't make it back. Oh, poor little baby. Poor little baby. This is it guys, this is the northern most tip of Denmark. I think it, it's actually there, but too many tourists. <laughs> can't believe this is it. You can't get more at the tip of Denmark than this. Guys, I just met followers on the beach. They came up to me, they're people from the ship. They were like, are you Gab? And I was like, yeah. They said they saw me ice skating and that they enjoyed me. Well, that's sweet. If you recognize yourself, thank you for coming to see me. Made my day. Okay, now it's 11 o'clock. I think I'm gonna walk back to the ship because it's gonna take another hour to walk back and then have lunch maybe go for a bike ride again this afternoon. I do have two shows tonight, so I'm trying not to spend all my energy and just to keep some. Because when I do shows, it's not, it's more the energy levels that I, hi! <laughs> she was waving at me. So it's the energy levels that I wanna keep because we go to bed so late when we do shows that I, I don't wanna be tired. But I can always just have a Red Bull and I'll be fine but I hate just having Red Bull. I'd rather have my natural energy ready for shows. Okay, let's walk some more back to the ship. Okay, so I see people at the top of the lighthouse. I'm gonna go check if I can buy a ticket to go up there. I think it might be a tourist attraction then. I'm gonna go check it out, see if I can go up. That would be so fun. Okay, so I just bought a ticket to go to the lighthouse. It's actually a bird exhibit. So it's about the five, um, five types of birds that live around the lighthouse, the wild birds. 
So they have a little exhibit, and then you can, the last thing is to head up to the lighthouse, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. That was a cute exhibition. Bunch of like bird things and bird information. I skipped through most of the information, but don't tell the guide. <laughs> I just want to go up to the lighthouse before lunch. This is it. That's the entrance to the lighthouse. We're walking up. Oh! Ooh, it is tight in here. <gasps> okay. Hey, yeah. <laughs> so it's a little tight, and I've been. <laughs> some people are going down, and I'm trying to go up. We have to like. Whew. So they're counting down the steps. I still have a hundred steps to go. 95. Okay. Oh man. It's gonna take a while. We're at 80 steps. That's not too bad. We're almost there. You guys know how a lighthouse is. Oh, I'm out of breath. You guys know how a lighthouse is. The higher you climb up, the skinnier it gets. So it's just getting tighter and tighter. Look at that. This is what I have to go up. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, my God. It's so tight. This is the door. There it is. Oh man. That's the door we have to go through in order to come out here. This was the best ten dollars I've ever spent. Wow. So what I showed you over there is the uh, right there is what I walked earlier and it's the no most northern tip of Denmark. It looks so tiny. Spaces. It's dark and tight in here. Just look at the these stairs. Oh, I think I'll go down. I don't think there's space for two. <laughs> Gotta bend your head. It's a little tight in here. steps to be exact to get from the bottom of the lighthouse all the way to the top and it's 46 meters high which makes it Denmark's 
second tallest lighthouse. It was built in 1858 and it was a replacement for that earlier light lighthouse that we saw, the white one. So this is the new lighthouse. I don't know if it's still... So they said that after its construction, it became safe for ships to sail through this area. So in 2014, Danish Nature Agency took over the old lighthouse, so it's not in use anymore. I am back on board. Uh, I just spent, so I had lunch at around 2 o'clock in our cafeteria. Then I spent pretty much the whole afternoon scrolling on YouTube. Uh, well, actually, I just wanted to upload my YouTube videos with my service, so I did. And now I have to go to warm up, so I'm going to go ahead um, to Studio B to get ready for two shows tonight. I kind of wish I took a little nap because I am feeling a little tired after that long walk this morning and getting up at 7 a.m. But you know what? It's all right. I'll just grab a coffee or grab a Coke or Red Bull or I don't know, something to get me back to my usual energy level. And um, what I was saying earlier, I, I, I didn't know what seas were crossing. It's actually the North Sea with the Baltic Sea for the... I was talking about... <laughs> God, I can't speak anymore! So where I was earlier, the nor the most northern tip of Denmark is where the North Sea meets Baltic Sea. There it is. That's your answer. Warm up! I think the hardest part was the acceptance that I let you slip in. And maybe I could fall. Just try to remember who surrounded you From all the heaps of fallout new to all Well maybe I could give it to her Cause when you said it wasn't much a single call Well how do I take your word well over his? Yeah how do I take it for less than it is? Tore down the walls, on my best to let you in Yeah how was I supposed to know what you had? What you had? Just came back from warm up, had my little pre-show dinner, which is consists of usually like some salad, maybe a little bit of pasta to hold me up and keep my energy levels high. Now I'm gonna do my show makeup, you know, guys the usual, and get ready for shows. Hey, hey. Believe me, I never got Invited to any parties, I just sit out from the in crowd and stay within my boundaries. Everyone, you ready? I think I got up too early, guys. Seven o'clock, I got up. As long as we get off the ship, yep. They. They better keep it this way. But it's because I didn't take a nap. Usually I take a nap, but this time I did not. So that's why I'm like it. But I just had a coffee, so maybe it'll kick in soon. Ready? We are gonna warm up and get ready for the show, guys. It's almost showtime. 30 minutes till showtime. There's no one here, Jordan. There's no one. There's no one. Shocking. Then why are we doing two? I don't know. I don't know. The ship's not full, guys, and they make us do many shows for no one. And then the rest is like... It's people... The people that are in here, I'm sure, are people who've already seen it. That's the worst part. Someone singing! Okay, we have to warm up, so let's start warming up. I feel wanna give up being good to be bad. But I bet if I was there, I wouldn't care. I didn't, but I'd stay low. Kids are raising cups while I'm in the back. Here we go. Ready, Jordan, for this show? 
Yes. Me too. And then I'm already thinking about shopping. Oh my god. Hopefully it's there on time. Oh, if it's not there, I'm not staying. <laughs> First show, it's, is it 7 o'clock right now? Yeah. That's our first show. And then second show is at 9? 15? 9.15. Okay, so. Pressure of society, won't let it get to me, not defined by popularity. So my show was really good. Perfection. Now I'm having my in-between um, show coke that I always have. And I'm gonna get ready for the next one. So today was a really, really good day, man. And then show food again. gentlemen, your international ice cast in their wonderful production of Ice Odyssey. Introducing the cast, Alexandra, Gabriel. Oh, uh, guys. <laughs> uh, mental breakdown number three of the day. Oh my god. I spent the whole day, so first of all, I started this day out getting up for a meeting. And in that meeting, they told us that they were no longer giving us shore leave, that they were only doing a percentage per division. So in our division, it's probably going to be like 20 people that get to get off. So I filmed myself crying after that meeting. But all of the audio from today has not been recorded. I think I hooked up the microphone wrong and it did not record any of the audio which really frustrates me because I spent the entire day going to monuments looking up information about monuments explaining it to the camera oh man <laughs> and now not one audio recorded oh Sometimes I just hate technology. Why have two outputs? Why do you have two holes for my cord to connect to the speak the the microphone when only one of them works? Like why? <laughs> I'm not even sure it's recording my audio right now because I'm not even sure this is the right. Ugh. Anyways, setting to put it on. Whatever. Okay, so after that terrible news of them canceling shore leave and me being depressed this morning. I got off today in Ar Aarhus, Denmark. It was a beautiful city, so I hope you enjoyed the footage. I will put the footage, um, I'll just do a voiceover and search all the information again so that you can get what I what I looked up. Maybe I took a couple screenshots actually of all the information I had today. I don't think so, no. So I'll I'll look it up again and give you the information. You know when you're having a really bad day? Well it was a good day. It's just like two bad things happened today. First of all, the company canceling shore leave again which is devastating because it's not like that's changing anything. And second of all is my video not recording my audio. <laughs> oh, stay positive, stay positive, stay positive, stay positive. This is my positivity for the night. That's all I've got to say. So I hope you enjoy Aris Denmark with my beautiful voice in the background <laughs> giving you the audio. <laughs> A little audio guided tour. Have fun. So the day started out real bad with this divisional meeting where they actually told us that shore leave was no longer a thing, so we had shore leave for a week, and this is me processing the news. I still couldn't believe that uh, they took it all away from us and just gave us shore leave for about a week. 
<laughs> and now it's only a certain number of people per division, so about 10 people in our division can get off every port, so I won't be able to get off and visit these new places. So when I'm upset and I can't control the situation, I decided today, they were letting us off today because this was our last day of freedom. So I decided to grab my bike and go for a bike ride because I just bought a bike thinking we could get off in every port. So I was going to enjoy my last bike ride. If, if it is my last, hopefully it's not. So the first place I visited in the day was the Aris Cathedral. This cathedral is in Aris, Denmark, and it is the longest and tallest church in the country, sitting at 93 meters, which is 305 feet in length, and 96 meters, which is 315 feet in height. The construction of the Aris Cathedral began in the 12th century and it is the main edifice of the Diocese of Aris for the Church of Denmark. There's me giving a brief explanation of the church. <laughs> Museum is an art museum in Aris, Denmark. The museum was established in 1859 and it is the oldest public art museum in Denmark outside of Copenhagen. The next building I went to see is the Aris Courthouse. Uh, it is a historic building located on Vester Alley in Aris, Denmark, and originally it was built as a combined courthouse and jail. Um, it was inaugurated in 1906. The third building I went to see is the Aris City Hall, uh, which the decision of the building of the City Hall was taken during uh, a meeting in 1937, and the new building was inaugurated on June 2nd, 1941. It was designed by the architects Ann Jacobson and Eric Muller. On its first proposal, they did not include the tower and its plans, uh, but then due to a, a, a a massive public pressure, they later added the, the tower to the town hall. So this is the Aris Custom House and it's located on the harbor um, in front of Aris, Denmark. It was completed in 1898. It is said to be Hack Katman's finest work. Katman also designed other buildings in the city. The building was used by tax authorities until the mid 1990s. In 2004, I believe they resalvaged it renovated it keeping its old charm but now i believe it's a restaurant there's a parking lot underneath uh and a, a historical landmark and last but not least these buildings are called the iceberg buildings obviously due to the shape of the buildings they're formed in um, icebergs and they're just a residential area what i've realized in this um city in most of the residential areas is that they have a really good sense of community and they have a lot of parks around and a lot of things they can just share all together and enjoy a good time. After watching this guy do an impressive trick in the water, I decided it was time for lunch. So I grabbed my bike and got lost in the city of Aris, Denmark, trying to find a cute little restaurant. So I hope you enjoy this montage of the streets of Aris. You know that I miss you But I'm conflicted The way that I feel about you No, I should not feed it 
And if you were the answer To all these questions I think I'll be a man first Admit that I made a mess here Yeah, I made a mess here Well, I made a mess here Oh, I made a mess here You roll. I buried them in moving boxes to keep the memories honest. How do you write like an angel? And yet you bite like a spitfire, like that October in Salem. safe haven Oh, but you made a mess here Yeah, you made a mess here Yeah, you made a mess here